Can I just say that this method has worked for me like no other method each and every single time? I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hey, hey, it is Victoria. Victoria, if you are new to my channel, welcome, and please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. In today's video, I will be sharing with you all how to get rid of strawberry legs, and I wanted to show you guys kind of like in a step-by-step -step process, because I hate those videos where they're claiming you can do this or you could do that, but there's no before and after, there's no real footage really, so I kind of wanted to walk you guys through it and show you so you can see um, how I get rid of strawberry legs or um, keratosis pilaris, whatever you want to call it. So um, let's go over exactly what strawberry legs is real quick, just in case you don't really know what it is or where it comes from. So it can come from three things. Uh, the first thing is really, really dry skin. Um, another thing it can come from is um, keratosis pilaris, as I mentioned. And with that, um, basically what it is, is it's that the skin has so much keratin in it, is it blocks your hair from being able to come out of the pores so you have that and then you have something called folliculitis and folliculitis is when your follicles become inflamed and that's usually due to shaving because it's called as all sorts of bacteria so either way it looks really bad in your shorts it looks really bad in your skirts and it looks really bad in your bikinis so let me walk you guys through how to get rid of it okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to exfoliate and let me tell you guys how dedicated I am to make this video so what I did is I didn't shave and I did not use any type of moisturizer or exfoliate for two months and you guys know that I exfoliate daily <laughs> but I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys what my strawberry legs look like and to show you guys that I actually do have strawberry legs and so I have a clip of it and here's the clip here and I just wanted to show you like all of these little black dots here on my skin this is what happens I start to develop strawberry legs when I don't keep up with my regimen that I'm going to share with you guys here now so basically the first thing that you want to do is you want to exfoliate I would suggest making your exfoliant at home because you can put all of the good stuff in it and the good stuff is anything that is brightening or anything that helps to release your hair from your skin so things like clove and uh, rose water and uh, Celtic sea salt Celtic sea salt is amazing amazing you guys already know from uh, previous videos that I love that and I use that in pretty much all of my scrubs because that really helps to sloth off old dead skin cells and it helps to restore a uh, more of a balanced pH in your skin so make sure you you're using um, sea salt but you can get an exfoliant from anywhere but make sure you're adding in all of the ingredients that I'm telling you guys about so it can work to help get rid of your strawberry legs so clove you want to add in you also want to add in tea tree because tea tree helps to uh, fight against bacteria that can cause the folliculitis and it also helps to release the hair follicle so you want to also include that and I like to use my brightening scrub because it also helps to brighten those areas that for me on my legs are much darker so let's exfoliate Okay guys, so here is the process and this is going to take about seven days to actually work. So first you want to exfoliate and again the reason we are doing this is to remove the top layer of skin that is blocking our pores and blocking the hairs from coming out that's causing that rippled bumpy effect. So you want to exfoliate and when you're doing this make sure you're just very gentle on your legs because you don't want to burn your legs, you just want to release that top layer of skin. After we exfoliate, we just want to rinse well with warm water because warm water actually opens the pores and that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Next up is rose water. Rose water is so great for this process because it helps to release the hair follicles and to unclog the pores that are causing the, your hair to be stuck. So you want to use this and spray it directly onto your skin. The rose water, it smells good, it feels good, it leaves your skin feeling super silky, but you just want to spray it on just like this and you want to rub it in and then let it air dry. Now after we do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add aloe. Aloe is so fantastic because it's very soothing to the skin and it also moisturizes the skin. Don't forget that another cause for this is dry skin, so let's make sure we are keeping the moisture locked in. 
Now finally we are going to make a paste out of yogurt and tomatoes. Now I know this sounds crazy, but if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I've already made a post about this. But basically what this does is this is going to create acid. So there's acid in tomatoes and there's lactic acid in milk. And so you want to add this in. It also has probiotics, which is why I use yogurt. And that's going to help fight against bacteria. So it sounds crazy, but it works. And you don't have to do this every single day of, of the seven days. You just want to do this on the last day. And that's just for extra measure. So basically what you do is you just take a few tomatoes and then you smush it in with yogurt. And then you make a paste and apply it onto your skin. Okay, so here we are after seven days. It was actually eight days. But here we are after eight days, and these are my results. And I'm pretty happy with them. Pretty impressive, right? I really want you guys to try this out and tell me how it worked for you all. I love when you guys try the hacks and you come back and you're like, oh my God, that worked so well and you're so excited about it. So try it out and come back to this video and leave in the comment section how it worked for you guys. Now, as far as the exfoliant goes, now I know it was a lot of ingredients that I read to you guys that was in this exfoliant. You can use any exfoliant that you like, but make sure that you're including things that it is specific to your target issue which is strawberry leg so make sure you're using Celtic sea salt as well as clove and tea tree and then I have other brightening things in here as well if you are interested in learning how to make this I have a video on it and I will be sure to leave that in the description box but I also have a giveaway which is this <laughs> and if you are interested in winning this all you have to do is type in the comments section I want that and share this video with a friend and I will get this out to you I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye